Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you're new, I'm Christina and this is my best friend Kelly. If you are someone who is over the age of 40, who loves fashion but doesn't want to spend a fortune looking stylish, then definitely consider subscribing to our channel. We release videos two times a week every Sunday and Thursday. And today we have a video for you about one of our favorite pieces of clothing, which is cardigans. So we love our cardigans. We wear all types of cardigans, but sometimes we know that styling cardigans can be a little bit tricky. There are many different lengths and, and styles of cardigans, and you may be wondering how to not look frumpy when you wear a cardigan. So we are going to share with you some tips and tricks for how to wear cardigans in the most stylish way and still look young and hip. So the first tip we want to share with you is really experimenting with the three lengths of cardigan. So you, the first one is the traditional uh, short cardigan. You also have a mid-length cardigan, which will hit you right about in the mid part of your thigh. And then you also have a duster cardigan, which is pretty much anything that is past your knee. So depending on maybe what your stature is or what your body shape is, you may lean towards one cardigan length versus another. And really it's just going to be experimenting and determining which one you like the best. If you're petite, you may steer clear of duster cardigans, or if possibly you have more of an apple shape, maybe a short cardigan is not for you, but really just try and experiment. Yeah, we have found that we both like all three of these lengths of cardigans. We like the short, we like the mid-length, we like the duster. It really just depends on what style we're going for that day. I feel like for me, I definitely gravitate toward the mid-length the most, and that is because it's very easy for me to wear at five foot three. This is a length that I can get away with wearing with most of my jeans and with flat shoes or sneakers versus the duster, which usually I feel like I have to add a little bit more height to my body. So it really just depends on you. And the only way you're really going to figure out what you like best is just by trying them all on. And hopefully you'll, you know, find lots of different ones that you like. So the second point to consider when you are looking for a cardigan is the style of the cardigan. So by style, we're talking about some of those details such as pockets versus no pockets, rounded edges versus straight edges, for us, we really have found that we are okay with very minimal pockets that are very streamlined, almost like a faux pocket or no pockets at all, but we really try to avoid anything that adds bulk. And that is because most women are not looking to add extra width to their hips or thigh area. Now, if you're someone who is very, very teeny tiny and you are looking to add some width there, then you might wanna look for a fuller pocket. So that's something to consider. Another thing to consider is how streamlined the cardigan is. So for us, we definitely love a nice straight um, style cardigan that doesn't have any frills or bulk to it. We just find that that is very flattering on basically all body types. So when you're trying on cardigans, you're going to want to look for those little details like does it have a straight streamlined bottom or does it have, you know, curviness to it and just see what works best on your body type because we're all different. Exactly. So an easy way to avoid looking frumpy is for sure to avoid the waterfall cardigans. They're very pretty. However, all of that extra fabric and material, especially where it hits, really just adds more bulk and more weight to your frame. It doesn't matter whether you're petite or whether you have a larger body frame. Just I would say recommend you guys avoid it altogether. However, they do have also some rounded hemlines and the one thing that Kelly and I would really just recommend is to be careful where the hemline hits. So if it's one that kind of gathers right around your hips and that's a little bit of a bigger part of your body, you might choose to instead select one that's a little bit longer, possibly a duster length. Also take a look at how uh, much it flares out because that flaring effect will also add more width to your body. The next tip to not look frumpy in a cardigan is to make sure that the under layer piece that you're wearing is more form fitted. And this might actually be a piece that you wouldn't wear without a cardigan. You might feel a little too exposed, but they're actually perfect when you're pairing them with a cardigan. The cardigan will give you an extra layer over top, kind of concealing some of that exposed voluptuous areas that you guys are um, revealing. However, um, when it's more form fitted, it's showing 
find more of your shape. Now, if you have something that's a lot looser and baggy, that's just adding more unnecessary weight to your, to your body. So grabbing up those tank tops, those camis, those tees that are a lot more fitted. If you have a looser fitting tee, making sure you tie it up and tuck it in and giving yourself that nice silhouette underneath is a great optical illusion when you're wearing cardigans. And cardigans are great for if you want to try wearing something that's a little bit more body conscious. So for example, those body conscious dresses that are more form fitting, maybe you don't feel completely comfortable wearing them on their own, but when you put on a nice long cardigan or a duster over that, that can be very elegant and very flattering or putting on a dress that is belted. So if you're going to layer a cardigan over a dress, make sure that that dress is fitted to your body, whether it's through the material or through belting it to show your waist, to show your shape, and then just skimming over it with a beautiful cardigan is just a great way to put together an outfit with a cardigan and not look frumpy. So tip number four is about sizing and fabric. So you want to look for cardigans that are not overly slouchy. Those are very trendy with the younger girls. You know, they love their oversized cardigans. However, for us more mature women, you're probably going to find that it's more flattering if you choose a cardigan that is a little bit more fitted to the body. So something that is a, a slimmer look, more streamlined look. You know, we have a, a trend going here with the streamlined effect that we are getting. And if you are choosing something that's possibly a little bit bulkier material, you're probably going to want to size down. So I often find this for myself, especially when I'm looking at those long duster cardigans. I usually end up sizing down a size and that helps me to get a little bit more fitted, streamlined look. Yeah, and definitely paying really close attention to the fabric. You don't want something that's chunky, that has a lot of weight, all of that extra weight. Yes, it's very comfy and cozy and you just wanna curl up with it. However, it is going to add weight to your body. So be really careful. Something that is very thin, sleek, maybe has some sort of ribbing uh, material to it, really is going to be your friend if you are looking to achieve a much more slimmer, sleek look. So the next tip has everything to do with really paying attention to the arms. So you wanna make sure that you have a great fit around the arms. You wanna make sure that there's not too much bulk and material that's uh, scrunching up around the arms. Also take a look when you're putting on the cardigan. Raise your arms, make sure that there isn't a bat wing effect that's happening. When you raise your arms and you have this a curved effect underneath here obviously they can't see your true silhouette which is just adding weight to your body so don't just put it on take a look at how you look from head to toe and turn around also raise those arms it's super important it's going to make a huge difference in how the cardigan fits you and looks on you and one of the things that I've learned with cardigans and you know blazers and other things as well is to really look at those shoulder seams especially if you are someone who is a little bit more broad shouldered the shoulder seam being at the shoulder or just right below the shoulder but close to your true shoulder shoulder is going to be much more flattering than a drop shoulder. So when I put on a drop shoulder, I automatically notice that it just widens my upper body, which is not something that I'm looking for. So if you are someone who is, you know, maybe has very, very narrow shoulders and you want to create more balance with your hips, then maybe a drop shoulder could work for you. Um, however, if you don't want to broaden your shoulders, if you don't want to look wider on top, you definitely want that shoulder seam to be right at your shoulder. So our next tip is to show some skin when you are wearing a cardigan. And what we mean by that is this area right here. So when you put on a cardigan, if you are wearing a very high round neck shirt or a turtleneck, you're gonna find that that definitely gives like a frumpier look to it. But if you wear something that is a V-neck or a scoop neck, whether it be a camisole or a t-shirt or any type of top, you're gonna really open up this top area and find it to be much more flattering and youthful. So definitely expose some skin up here when you're putting on a cardigan. Yes, yeah, so and if you have been watching our channel for a while, then you know that this is something we are constantly talking about, which is exposing that neck and shoulder area. It really helps to elongate your neck. All It's showing all of the delicate um, parts of your collarbone, which really helps to just 
decrease the weight because you're showing the smallest part of your body. So you may try possibly pairing your cardigan with a scarf or something and that is going to make you look frumpy and adding more weight and bulk to your outfit. So definitely if you're going to wear a scarf, instead choose just to wear it where it falls on the side and the front and don't do any of these tricks of layering and rolling and tying. So for our next tip, it's really paying attention to the type of shoes that you're wearing with your cardigan. If you're wearing the wrong shoes, it can make a very stylish cardigan look kind of frumpy. So when Kelly and I are wearing our duster cardigans, we tend to pair those with a booty or a high heeled shoe to really just extend our legs and add length to our body shape. Now, if you're someone who is very tall in stature, you may be able to not wear those and instead prefer to wear a flat uh, shoe with your cardigan. But for us, we find that we get a lot more versatility from our mid-length and short cardigans. With those ones, we're able to pair them with sneakers, flat shoes, booties, high heels. It doesn't really matter. So just make sure that you're experimenting and playing and taking a critical eye and looking at how your body shape looks in that style of cardigan and whether you may need to add a little bit of height in order to streamline your body. Yes, I think this is why I find myself reaching the most for the mid-length or the shorter cardigan because in my regular day-to-day -day life, I'm typically wearing sneakers and flats. However, for evening, I love a great long duster cardigan for some drama to an outfit, but really does make a difference when you pair it properly because if I were to put on that very long duster with a pair of sneakers, all of a sudden I took something that's really beautiful and stylish and made it look a bit frumpy on myself. And last but certainly not least is trends. You want to consider the trends going on in cardigans. So of course neutrals are always going to be in style. We love our neutrals. They're so versatile. They're so easy to pair and you can always layer them with some different trends underneath. For example, leopard print, snake print, houndstooth, all the different prints we've talked to you about in previous videos. But also think about in your cardigan, what is a trend? So right now, one of the trends that we see a lot of that is very you know, modern and beautiful for women of any age is color blocking. And that is where you see the two or three different colors, maybe a little bit of um, striping done in you know, a great way can be beautiful. And just all those beautiful neutral colors. We love rust, that's a huge trend right now that is going on. So really looking at trends and also avoiding those cute see types of things that are just going to be aging for us and make us look frumpy. So avoiding things like large floral prints or any kind of animals, puppy dogs, things like that. Maybe if you are teaching preschool and stuff, those things can be really cute, especially for the holidays. I'm a former teacher. I remember the, the little Christmas tree cardigans. <laughs> However, for the rest of us, that's probably going to look a little bit frumpy. Yeah, so we just wanted to have a little bit of fun with this segment. So Kelly and I both pulled recent cardigans that our teenage daughters picked up and they look absolutely adorable in them. My daughter has a very pretty pink heart cardigan that she picked up. It's very chunky and oversized. <laughs> Kelly's daughter picked up this green floral cardigan which looks absolutely adorable on them. They wear these little cropped uh, camis underneath. However, for us in our age group, these are a no-go, ladies. These large prints, these bold prints that are not with the hottest trends that we have shared with you are things that you are for sure going to want to stay away from because they are the quickest way from A to Z to go from stylish to frumpy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It is it is funny. They were wondering why we were stealing their cardigans and they look so cute when you're 15 but not so cute when you're our age. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed these tips on how to wear cardigans and not look frumpy. And please make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And until next time, bye. bye.